how to make women miss you so badly. What's good with y'all, man? Guys, listen up, bro. I know why you're here. You want a woman desiring you. You want a woman craving you. I'm going to go over exactly what you need to be doing in order to not only speed up this process, but also keep it going in a revolving door as long as possible. Okay, with that said, bro, follow me on IG. Check the links in the description box for notifications, bro. Let's get it, man. Having a woman miss you oh so badly. Fellas, I want y'all to know that women do not work the same way that we do. Okay, you cannot think congruently as a logical man as to, oh, hey, this will work. You know what? Let me sit here and listen to exactly what she's telling me she wants from me and do exactly that. In the perfect world, that will work. In a perfect world, you get a bitch some flowers and some edible arrangements with a little grape in the middle, right? And the pineapple cut out as a rose petals and shit. Yeah, that'd be nice, bro. But that ain't working. Okay, that ain't working. That nice guy shit is not working. I'm not finna spin you that lie because that is some bullshit. OK, to create genuine desire to have this girl missing you. OK, see, the first time you met the girl, she showed some interest. But now what we after, guys, is what is going to separate you from the next guy? What's going to separate you from the guys in her past? OK, first off, we're not dwelling on none of that shit. You stepping up to the plate. OK, she saw you. She was feeling you. So thinking about all these other guys, there's no point. You just be that guy and you will naturally separate yourself from the rest of these guys and the next guy. OK, you create your own experience that she latches on to. You know what I'm saying? Guys, when you are out with these women, I want you just being yourself in such a way that she cannot get that type of experience from another guy. She can't get it from another human being besides you. The game is naturally going to be you and who you are. And you stepping out with a chick and you enjoying yourself with her, right? This is when rules can be broken. She's not going to make rules for you. She's going to skip out all that bullshit just because she's desiring you. She's craving you. She don't want to make you wait. You want to be that guy. Okay. Create a lasting experience. When I have conversations with brothers, first time you meet a girl and you exchange the numbers, man, you break the touch barrier, all this good stuff, man, you did it, right? But then like the next time and the time after that is where guys get confused. This is the aspect I really thrive in. You need game plan. You need help in situations like this. Book a conversation with your boy. Link in the description. Link in pinned comment. I'm going to get you right. Other than that, guys, you want her to hit your line. Okay. You know, she's at least thinking about you. If she's texting you guys, she's hitting you up. She's trying to get to know more information about you. OK, now there's two fronts right on this side in between that first link. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the first time that you see her or after you clap the first time, what's going to get her hooked? Right. What's going to continue to make her miss you badly enough to want to see you again and again and again? What's going to create that spark? See, because, guys, you don't want to be the one to initiate after that first link. You don't want to be the guy that's like trying to see her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I had a good time last night and I'd like to see you again. Do not ever tell me that you said something like that. I don't want you to see guys. I, I'm trying to help you with long game, long game. This is long term, keeping it lasting as long as possible. What you need to understand about women is they get bored easily as hell. They love to be entertained, right? Their entertainment along with them missing you can coincide because you remain mysterious. See guys, if you leave something on the shelf, right? That she hasn't seen yet. She hasn't touched. That's creating a level of mystery. Okay. She's thinking in her mind, there's some unfinished business. Okay. She wants to get to know you and all this stuff. And she wants to text you and ask all these questions. You keep it as short, simple as possible to the point where it's still leaving things out. Even if you got to tell her this, I want you to tell her that if she starts asking too many questions, just be like this. How about you ask that next time you see me? Right. How about you figure that out the next time we get up together? And just leave it at that. 
right? Leave an availability there. Leave something for her to grasp on. Leave something for her to, to think about, guys. Okay? Because the entertainment and the excitement that women crave that's going to make them miss you oh so badly is them trying to figure out exactly who this enticing guy truly is. That The mystery of that in itself is going to be maintained by you continuing to keep your composure, your masculine. Keep that shit in check, bro. Don't be too divulgent of it. I don't care how comfortable you get. See, this is why the pillow talking is a no-no. I don't care if you feel so good after you busted them nuts. I don't care how good she made you feel, bro. I don't care how happy your Johnson is. Bro, relax, relax. Just enjoy the moment. Remain calm in it, okay? We talk about calm, cool, collected at all times. You, This is something that you need to maintain. You're letting her just you know, fantasize, you're letting her think about this about you. And, you know, what does he do on a daily when he's not seeing me to the point where she's like, OK, well, I need to hit him up. I need to hit him up so I can see him. Let's let's make that next meeting faster. You want her to be making that next meeting faster. OK, anytime you've seen a chick. And then you're like, if you're ever left questioning, OK, how much does she like me? How much does she desire me? This and that. Is she thinking about me? Let her hit you up the next time. Do not schedule the next link. After the first time, let her hit you up again. Because she wants the unfinished business to be addressed as soon as possible. And to the next point, guys, this is the next point that's going to really just upgrade exactly, not only just, you know, her craving you, but also like the timing. OK, because we have schedules, especially as busy men. Right. Especially as busy men, we have schedules. So put it this way. Really, you want her thinking in a space of I don't know his availability, but I've told him my availability. Typically, she should be telling you her availability, even concisely through the track history of when y'all linked up, when y'all got out. When y'all got out the next time slash the first time after that and or, you know, periods of time where she's texting you and active. OK, you need to figure out that timing to know that, yo, so she's typically available these days. So there's no point of me trying to even think about her these certain days of the week. So that's going to take all the anxiety out of your head because, see. If she's only cool, like free on a Saturday or or a Monday, what's the point of you sitting here thinking about the chick Tuesday through Friday? You need to be focused. See, a lot of guys be in the in that love process in their head. Y'all be the ones missing them badly, doing that kind of stuff. What is she doing? I'll, let her let her be on that side. What is he doing? She don't know your schedule like that. You mysterious. That's already turning her on, bro. The time frame that you cannot see her is the time frame where you do not need to even be thinking about texting the chick. If somebody's going to hit somebody up, it's going to be her. OK, and that time frame in between is also what you're going to use as the time that you allow her heart to grow fonder of you. OK, it's simply that women like to romanticize a lot of things. Let them be on that. The time that you have separate, let that marinate. Let the time that y'all have separate, let it marinate. OK, let her think about you. You don't be the one in the position of thinking about her. You need to be focused on other things. She's the one that's all into romance and into the feelings. That's for women. That's not for us. OK, I know it's unfortunate for some of you guys to come to that realization, but that's what it is. OK. The game of love is that's their entertainment. OK, you will drive yourself crazy continuously thinking about a bitch and all the things. That, no, 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 no. Don't even. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm saving your life doing this. Trust me. Use that time frame to let her heart grow fonder of you. OK, it's plain and simple. So when she's hitting you up, oh, you know, you don't really uh, reach out to me. I mean, I know you text me sometimes, but I don't really know much about you. First off, that's a good thing. Don't sit here and be like, oh, that means she wants me to tell her more. No, no, no. That's a good thing. If a chick is complaining. If she's telling you, oh, I can't stand you and why do you do this to me and you make me feel a certain way. All those things are good. All those things are good. Those are hints and signs that, yo, you're doing the shit right and that she's missing you badly. She wants more of you. 
And guess what? The icing on the cake is when you pull up, you pull up with that desire. You pull up with that energy that I'm here to satisfy you. OK, you've been waiting. You've been contemplating. You've been thinking about me. Well, now I'm here, baby. Now I'm here. Now what you want to do to me? Because I already know what I'm going to do to you. That's the energy you need to pull up with. OK, and then you need to make your exit promptly. Now, how do you make your exit? See, the next time you see her and then it's all good, you've kept that good. OK, so she had hit you up. You pulled up, dropped dick off. All the, the night was good and everything. Now, how do you make your exit? Are you leaving right after? I don't suggest that. Here's what I suggest you do. See, this is what we talk about longevity. We talk about her missing you all so badly so that the next time she's going to hit you up even faster or the next time she's going to hit you up and you come through, she's going to be ready to really try to suck the soul out of you. Here's how you leave, okay? I want you to sit there, lay up with her for a couple hours, okay? Hold the chick. After you bust buns, maybe y'all take a little nap together, right? You get up, and you, you rock solid again, go ahead and get that out of there and then be like, oh, I got to go. Got to go, babe. Kiss her bye, whatever. Let her walk you out. See, I suggest you go into her place. On Patreon, I got a lot of content as far as long game, should you go to her place, uh, the checks you need to have, the discernment you need to have, all this kind of stuff be on there. A lot of advanced game type stuff too. I digress. When you're making your exit, make it in a way of, you know, and we had a great time, babe. See you next time. Bye. And she's like, oh, man, I can't wait to see. The whole time, because we did discuss the time frame in between of her availability she don't know yours. Leave that mystery there. During that week, she's going to be thinking about you, bro. Thinking about you, thinking about you, thinking about you. Playing with herself at night, thinking about you. And or she might hit you up just to come. Through. Can you make it here? How long? Can, uh, when will you be here? Are you going to be here quick? Can you be here? I'm horny. Let her do all that, bro. Let her be in the feelings about it. Let her be in the notion of it. Let her be thinking about you, fantasizing about you. Let it flow, bro. Just let it flow. OK, as long as you are sticking to your energy throughout the whole process, keeping it the same from the jump, from the get go, how it was when she got lured into you. OK, when she got lured into your masculine frame, your energy, keep that same process throughout the whole time. Do not switch it up. Do not start to get all lovey dovey at it. If she saw you and she liked how you was just calm, cool and composed as a man should be. Don't get all in your feelings and start telling her that, oh, baby, I love you. Sorry, validating the hell out of it. Don't be doing all that stuff. I know busting nuts feels good, especially when you with a sexy chick. Don't do that. You've been there before. And if you haven't, you better act like you have because now you have. All right. Put win in the comment section right now. You stuck around this far because that's all we doing out here. We winning. We slinging Johnson. And, you know, we dropping dig off indefinitely, making sure these hoes miss us. When you come in with that action every time she sees you, she knows she is going to get that healing dick. Throughout the process of her missing you, bro, don't be surprised when every time she hits you up to come through or every time she's trying to link, she's looking at you a certain way. Don't be surprised about that. Don't be surprised she attacks you at the front door when you come through. Okay, that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how you know you're doing it right. Maintain mystery as long as possible. Come through with the same energy every single time. Drop dick off efficiently.